Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Sephora haul. This is part two. I will link part one down below. So if you want to see it, that was a huge haul. Um, this is a smaller haul. I just wanted to get more stuff and I forgot about some stuff. So if you want to see what I got in this video, just keep on watching. First thing I wanted to get was the Patrick Ta. Uh, this is the major dimension number three, which is the full matte palette. I don't know how I forgot about it the first time, to be honest, because this was on my wish list. This is a pricey palette, you guys. I have all of his palettes so far, so and they're really wonderful. They're really, really nice. This is all matte palette, and you get your black and brown cream shadow. I cannot wait to do a um, tutorial with this palette here. Um, let me know. Probably my next video is going to be a try-on haul a, and do a makeup look. Uh, with all the products that I got during the sale. I didn't get a bunch of um, makeup items. Uh, they were mostly like, you know, shampoos and body stuff. So, but I did get some stuff. Um, so I will try them on in my next video. This was out of nowhere. I don't know what I got it. So I got this uh, Sephora Favorites. This is a clean me up kit. So all clean products in here. My main thing was to uh, try on the Say. Um, luminizer whatever it's called and the mascara from tower 28 um but unfortunately the tower 28 mascara is a brown mascara i didn't know that but i'm keeping it i use it on my bottom lashes today i have some extensions on the top so i didn't use it so i'm not sure how i feel about it it's kind of more on the drier side so i'm not sure about that so you get three full sizes in this one here, which is really, really a good deal. Even if it was in the sale, it's really a good deal to get this one. So you get the full size mascara from Tower 28, the full size um, brown liner. This is from Colfi. And then you get the full size uh, from Lawless. This is for get the filler uh, lip plumping. And this is in the shade Velvet. And you get the brown mascara from Tower 28 and used to the people super food air whipped cream moisturizer um, and then this is the Amica dream routine overnight hydration mask it's in my um, bathroom so these are the products so three full sizes which I felt like it was really a good deal so these are the full sizes the color of this one is so pretty uh, it's like an everyday pink with a hint of mauve in it this is the color and you also get the Colfi brown liner. I don't have anything from Colfi, but I tried it the other day and it's a beautiful rich brown shade, the retractable pencil. And then you get this tiny, tiny, I don't want to open it. Um, use the people moisturizer and I'm going to swatch the say, so this is in the shade sun glow. Okay. It's very, it looks very dark at the beginning, but it's, blends in into a little bit of a, a bronzy not too much it's not too too bronzy it's very wearable actually it suits any skin tone um, yeah I'm really happy about this kit but I was bumped about the mascara I should have read what's in it so because that mascara was brown so I went and I grabbed a black one so here it is full size this is in the shade jet I um, haven't used it yet. I will let you guys know. From Sephora Collection, I got two brushes. I got the concealer brush number 71, which is this one here. And I got the Pro Blush Brush uh, 93. Um, this was already on sale, and then I got 30% off. I really like the shape of this one here. So nice. It is so fluffy. Yeah, it just fits perfectly on your cheek. You can use it with powders or cream. And then I just wanted another new um, concealer brush. Currently I use the uh, Dual Ended from Tarte Cosmetics, but I just wanted a smaller one. Okay, so this one is the number 71. Fit perfectly under the eyes. I'm really excited. And then they were 30% off. I think uh, Sephora Collection has a good, good quality. Uh, brushes uh, they don't shed they look the same I still have some brushes from like years ago and they still look the same so I'm really happy about my purchase I highly recommend Sephora uh, brushes 
So from Sephora Collection, they launched a new SPF uh, daily sunscreen cream. Uh, this is SPF 30 Invisible Finish, which I was really intrigued and I swatched it in store. The amount of glow of this. So this has a pump. It does look white like this and then it blends into nothing, but it's so beautiful and dewy. Um, I really love the glow of this. It doesn't smell like anything, so it has no scent, which is really good for uh, most of people. They don't like fragrances in their products, but I don't mind it. But this is really in a good size as well. This is 50 ml and 30% off. I just got a Sephora Collection uh, Clear Brush Tip Eyelash Adhesive um, for lashes. I've never tried the Sephora Collection brand, but I will just give it a try and see. I also got the Morphe Continuous Mist. Um, this is my absolute favorite everyday kind of setting spray. It's really, really nice. The mist is amazing. It's continuous. It's very, very fine. It's refreshing. I really like the way it looks on my makeup. It melts my makeup into my skin so beautifully. I think this is really my favorite to use. Um, I don't have trouble my makeup fading or anything, so I don't really have to have a setting spray at the end, but I do like it because I have dry skin, and I do love that powder to melt into my skin, so I do love this one here. I did have a jumbo size before, and it was finished, and I almost forgot to get it, so I grabbed it at the last minute. I forgot how much I love this concealer. It's almost gone, so I had to restock. This is the Magic Touch Concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think this doesn't get enough recognition. Um, this has an amazing, amazing coverage. I just got it in a lighter shade this time. I really, really love this one. It has a medium for me. It's a, like a full coverage concealer. It's hydrating. It doesn't settle into my lines, and it just it gives me an airbrush look. I really, really like it. And the last thing that I got from Sephora is a fragrance I almost didn't want to. It's called Gucci Intense Oud. So I did spray it on my wrist. I left, I woke up the next day and the scent was still on my wrist. I have like fingerprints all over it, but this is the bottle. It is so luxurious and pretty. And this is the cap right here. It smells, it smells divine. If you love intense, um, scents. Uh, I think this is really, really sexy and very attractive. Uh, it has oud in it if you love that. It's not too intense of a oud. I've smelled fragrances with oud, but this is really, really amazing. Um, I really, really like it. Um, even my kids tell me that I smell good, so it's beautiful. I really, really love it. If you don't like this intense scent, I think this is not for you. So yeah, this is all I got for my second haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this part two Sephora haul and let me know down below what you wanna see next. Hopefully soon I will gather my stuff and film a video using all my new stuff that I got from Sephora recently. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.